Tonight, we're learning new details about the woman arrested who investigators say confessed to murdering a beloved middle school coach. Kevin Roman was shot and killed in 2016 inside his own home. The woman who confessed is being held at the Harris County Jail tonight, which is where we find Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers. Brittany, we understand you have spoken with a close friend of the victim. And we spoke with him earlier tonight, and he tells me that while he is very relieved that there has been an arrest in this case, he says that even three years later, he still misses his best friend every day. Ladritic Davis says that his friend and fraternity brother Kevin Roman will never truly know the impact that he had on others as a beloved coach for Clear Lake Christian School and as a mentor. My gosh, you know, you hear those stories of of superheroes. Um, Kevin was one of those people. Since September of 2016, Davis has carried a heavy weight after he found Roman shot to death inside of his home in Sunnyside. Going to his home and finding him there, I really think I was the only person prepared for that. Um, and the years that come after that, these three years, um, I've kind of held that strength for everyone. For years, Davis felt the case was cold with no leads until now. Prosecutors say 32-year-old LaQuinta Johnson confessed to shooting and killing Roman. The complainant's autopsy uh, determined that the manner of death was homicide caused by multiple gunshot wounds of the head, neck, chest, back, and upper left arm. Prior to the murder, prosecutors say that Johnson and Roman briefly dated. Channel 2 found that Johnson has a criminal record dating back to 2005 with multiple arrests, including a felony conviction. Davis says this arrest brings some closure, but it doesn't heal the wound. This was the person that I bounced ideas off of uh, when I had my first child. This was the guy that was her godfather. And having not having an everyday presence anymore uh, is probably the thing that I miss the most. Probable cause court today also revealed that Johnson's brother had been arrested for possessing the murder weapon. Now, right now, she's being held in the Harris County Jail without bond. Reporting live in downtown Houston tonight, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brittany.